you're enjoying this series, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button. Also, we like seeing some thumbs ups. All right, welcome back to the, it wouldn't be one of these videos if I didn't have this crusty, gnarly uh, subscribe sign in it that we just work around. All right, welcome back to the foundations of Craftsman Kit Building. This morning, we are going to be adding the decking to the um, top part of the deck that we just did the supports for in the last video. So to do that, we're gonna have to stain the two by 10 decking top, which is the blue. If it's if you're doing the kit along with us, it's the scale lumber that is painted light blue at the ends. So we're gonna just gonna hit this with a basic ink wash, uh, just some dark ink wash. And then we're gonna spray it everywhere as I shake it. We're already making a mess, fellas. All right. Get my stain brush, my lovely stain brush. This is a nasty, nasty brush. Look at that thing. It is just horrendous looking. But I love it. All right. We're going to quickly hit the 2x10s with some ink wash, a darker ink wash. Flip them over. Do the same thing on the other side. And we're gonna sneeze, maybe. See how sneeze coming on? We're gonna work. Oh man! All right, we're just gonna work through that. Pardon me. All right, we got those stained. I'm gonna cap off my India ink wash, and we're gonna quickly dry these. Flip them over, hit them again. All right, that's good enough. It's got alcohol in it. It's a purple alcohol, so it they dry pretty fast. All right, now with this step, you can either use wood glue or transfer tape. Some people, I know, I know a lot of our listeners like to use transfer tape a lot. I don't currently have any transfer tape, so. Um, we're just gonna use wood, maybe not. We're trying to clear it with a toothpick, and what do you know? Dummy me. All right, we're just gonna use wood glue for this step. So, what we're gonna do is get some wood glue on my notebook here, and I'm gonna zoom in so you can see what I'm working on. All right, so the idea here is to build your decking on the top of this right so we're going to cut the blue end off because i don't need that and i'm just going to start making some random board lengths after i get a little bit of glue all right so we're just going to take this and do like, we're going to try and do like two boards per length, right? Two or three, whatever we find out, whatever we end up using. And I'm just going to cut some random lengths. This is not rocket science. This does not, not need to be debated upon. These are our, these are all the starter boards. We might not even need that many, but... That's okay, we can use them as filler boards later on. Okay, I'm gonna take my wood glue and I'm just gonna spread it really thin like this. And if you get excess, you can just keep working it back up this way. Now, because it's so thin and it's on a porous material, it's gonna dry quick. So, we're gonna take the starter board Place it down like so. Right on the edge there. And I'm just going to continue to do that as I go down this way with all the starter boards. And I'm going to make sure, just tap along the edge here, make sure it's lined up. There we go. And you can see now why 
I chose to just do random lengths because now when I put my second board in, it's going to um, create some variation where the board joints are. And the reason I know that some people aren't probably going to like this and they're going to give me a thumbs down is because they're going to say, well, wouldn't the board joints all line up like every other? They may. They might. It's very possible. Probably very likely. But then again, I'm not going for the... I'm going for the artistic like look of it, you know? I don't necessarily mind that it's like that. I'm trying to appease my eye, if that's a thing. And actually, we got a little bit of an extra here, so I'm just going to grab a piece of scrap lumber and just fill in that little leftover area that goes against the building. Hit it with a little bit of stain real quick. Okay. Just fill in the gap. There we go. Okay. All right, we have our first row in of boards. And then all we're going to do now is we're going to need a little bit more glue. Is run the other boards down the plank or like down the decking, the, de the top of the deck. Okay. <clears throat> so again, I'm just going to cut some random lengths. I know half of you guys are cringing, half of you don't mind. And I'm actually going to work from the parts that have the most, like, the smaller ones. That way I know that they fit. I don't get myself in a jam. Okay. And it's okay to do it in this order because the, as the, until the glue dries at least, because um, you can kind of wiggle them around, make sure that they're fitting correctly. If the glue starts to dry, you're not going to be able to wiggle these around at all. Okay. Got our second row in or our second application of them in. And we're just going to do the same thing. Dang it, I forgot about that filler. Hang on a second. Okay. I had to make a new uh, board here for my, my filler board. <clears throat> just run my glue down there real quick. I think this one's going to go right to the end and pass it a little bit. Yeah, that's okay. We'll trim that up. We going to trim that one up good. All right. Last part for the front of the deck, and then we're just going to do this little tabby in the back. I think I need one, two, three, four, five, six. I got four. Get rid of the blue. Get out of here, blue piece. All right. There we go. Get my paint or my toothpick blue. Run it in here. Okay. And we're just going to finish these up. Oh, look at that. It ended evenly almost, those two boards. Would you look at that? All right. Okay. These are skinnier. I accidentally cut my skinnier one. Give me a second. I only need two tiny little pieces too. And whatever's hanging off the edge, once it's completely dry, I will come back over once they're all dried and I'll um I'll trim up the 
the ends to make them square. But I can't do that until it's dry because then they'll be moving all around, and flipping and flopping. So there's the first deck boards done. Now we're just gonna go do this little back piece here. Um, and I think I'm just gonna kinda, kinda like I did for the first one, just the first part of me. We're just gonna make some random cuts. Hopefully I can do it all with this little piece of wood I have already. Let me zoom out a little. I think I'm getting off camera. There we go. All right, this should be plenty to work with. All right, same deal. Just gonna apply the glue nice and thin. You can use transfer tape. Like I said that already. Definitely you can use double-sided transfer tape. See that one's a little too large, so oops, sorry. That that board's a little too large, so I'm gonna make it staggered off both sides and then trim it up. Trim each side up when it's dry. That one is the perfect size, so I'm just gonna lay it right across. little guy here um I think I can use these two yeah I can okay I'm just gonna cut that in half Lay this down, I'll zoom in for you again so you can see a little better. I got one little section that's not done. So I got a little 16th inch by 16th inch piece of scrap wood here. And it's actually at a door. So it's gonna be like a little step piece just to cover that up and there we go all right now all of our decking is on and uh we're just gonna wait for it to dry come back and trim up those little hangers on the end and then we'll call this deck top done and then we'll attach it to the supports that we did earlier all right it's dry now so i'm gonna just come back here with my zach though and Cut these end pieces off. Make sure it's squared up against the piece of cardstock or task board. There we go. We're gonna do this inside corner as well. All right. And that's it. There is our decking. You can all you can take a piece of sandpaper here. I might do that right now, actually. Just take a piece of sandpaper and square up that edge there because it is going to be going on the inside corner touching the wall so you don't want it to be too jaggedy you want it to fit up against that wall flush like that like fit up flush yeah there you go all right so there's our decking um yeah i'm satisfied with that i like it like i said some people will say that you should have all your joint lines matched up yeah you probably should architecturally yes but I like the randomness that the board look the board look creates, and uh, that's just how I did it. So, oh well, that's how it is. You can you can actually if you want to do it that way. I'll just go through that now. You can cut each of your pieces every other at the same length, so that way all your joint lines are matching up. Hindsight, maybe I should have done it. Whatever. There we go. I like the way it looks. And uh, moving on to the next step, we will be assembling the deck next, and then. Uh, fitting it into the corner of the building. So make sure you subscribe, hit that bell button, and give us a thumbs up. Uh, we love the thumbs up. Join us for the assembly of the deck video next, and then we'll probably start doing some roofing after that. So thanks for following along.